Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the shop. I have got a super exciting tool to show you and tell you about today. It's something that has been completely off my radar for basically my entire career. Um, I've seen that Festool has one, but I always just kind of ignored it because of how ridiculous the price point is. But vacuum clamp. I bought this little clamp, this little pump down here off Amazon for like 100, 150 bucks. And a guy on Instagram makes these pads that you can use with the clamps and um, workpiece hold downs. So I've got a bunch of stair parts for a job this week. I've got to flush trim them and I've got to sand them and route the edges. So I'm going to show you guys this clamping system and we'll see how it works. This is the first time I've used it. I literally just set it up. Before we get into um, doing actual work, this is all the little pump is. Just this little guy right there. Not much. All it's doing is pumping air and then it's got these little quick connect hoses that you can uh, plug right into it. So I'm just gonna keep this down there. You can't even hardly hear it, it runs so quietly. And it's got a switch that you can flip on and off, or you can get like a foot switch, you can just bump it on and off. But we'll talk about that more in other videos maybe. So then the clamp just needs something smooth to grab onto. So unfortunately, my workbench has been beat to death and it's got saw cuts everywhere not a chance on this earth i could make this work so i just screwed a piece of mdf for now onto the workbench because i got so much to do and then uh, i'll just take it off when i'm done but you can just set that on there and away we go so we'll get to work here gotta say pretty incredible I was able to just tear through all of those end caps in no time at all and it's just unbelievably handy to just be able to drop it down on there and do whatever you want to do to it next thing I'm gonna test out I've got to flush trim all these pieces these are 48 inches long so quite a bit bigger I'm not sure how it's gonna work seems to be pretty solid um, but I guess we'll find out. That did break the seal as I got to the end. There's just too much pressure down here. So what I'm gonna do is use this other piece just um, to help prop it up in the end. I think that'll solve that problem. Well, I would say that this worked really well on these large pieces also, 
the clamping pressure isn't quite as strong because they're just larger. It's a little easier to get them to break loose from the vacuum, but it's it was still plenty adequate to get the job done. Uh, the biggest key, if you just try to balance the whole thing with this in the center, it didn't work real well, but whenever I put another clamp out on the end just to uh, keep it from rocking, then, I, then it worked great. So next thing I'm gonna do is use this to sand all these pieces. I really like the fact that I can set my work pieces on something that I know is not gonna scratch them up. So this has got a pad You can see here the pad on this. Um, obviously it's gonna be nice and soft and easy. You're not gonna scratch anything. I often find that with my workbench, I'll get drops of glue that are dried and stuff like that on the workbench. And I can be sanding something and at the same time scratching the underside of the workpiece. So this is gonna be really nice for sanding stuff. That worked really well for sanding also. I was able just to drop them on there and they're nice and solid. You can apply quite a bit of pressure around the edges. You could probably see I was pushing hard on the sides with the sander and it didn't move at all. So that worked great for sanding. Next thing I'm gonna do is ease all the edges and it should work just really great for that also because uh, I'll just be able to hit one side then flip it over and hit the other side and blow right through these. Well guys, hope you enjoyed the video. I think these things are amazing. I think they're gonna be a great addition to my workflow. Can't believe I've went this long without really having them on my radar, but I'm really looking forward to using these. The backstory on these, somebody I follow on Instagram actually makes these. He reached out, said, hey, I'll send you some, and I thought, nah, it doesn't look like that will work with my uh, work table you know because it's so cut up he sent them anyways and I looked at some videos on his feed and uh, these have tons of potential if you kind of learn how to use them so I will link his profile if you want to order these you'll have to go on Instagram and send him a direct message in order to order these I will link the little um, vacuum pump 
which we've got right here. You can barely hear it running. I'll link that in the video notes also. Probably most post more on this in the future, but for now, this was a great project to test this system out on. Again, just got it mounted right onto MDF. I think anything smooth will work. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button like always, and we'll see you next time.